folks who were just joining us or didn't know, UCF played for the, I don't think you'd ever played indoors ever before, had you? Never played indoors. Uh, the team, we'd played on artificial turf before, but never indoors. This was the uh, Memorial Center, and you folks can take a look for yourself at what a, I don't know if strange is the correct word to use, but it certainly was a dimly lit structure, and I don't know if you would call it conducive to football. It certainly was yesterday for UCF. You guys didn't seem to have any problems with it. Well, when we got there, of course, we never work out on Fridays uh, when we're at home. We did go out and do some working out on the turf so we'd get used to running around on it. And uh, the lights, it was sort of like playing at dusk. This was the first score of the game by UCF. It uh, followed a 35-yard drive. Uh, Gil Barnes pushing it in from three yards out, and the point made it 7-0. And uh, UCF came right back the next time it got the ball with an 86-yard drive. It's Mark Giacone with a four-yard run, and all of a sudden it's 14 to nothing before you knew it. Well, we came out really juiced up. The intensity level was really high. And, you know, Allen kicks this field goal to make it 17 nothing. At this time, I think maybe we, we began to uh, think that we were going to win the game easily. Maybe our intensity slipped a little bit. I, I'd like to think that it didn't, but we did p pick up the intensity again when we had to. This is the first score for East Tennessee, and that was a nice little run there by Searcy. Uh, this would go for 20 yards, and it was 17 to 7 after the point. I tell you, when you play against a good opponent, you just cannot let up, and they, they proved it again to us. Uh, the thing I like about this team that we have this year, we're capable of playing a lot better than we're playing, and we all, we're all aware of that, and I think down the line, we could really turn into a great team. Uh, we just uh, blew a coverage there. We had uh, one of our safeties was supposed to roll into the middle of the field on it, and uh, they threw the post pattern. He forgot to roll into the middle of the field. <laughs> <laughs> it was 17 to 14 at the time. That was certainly a big play, but uh, UCF certainly was undaunted and came right back and scored again. This was in the corner of the end zone to Sean Becton from Shane, and uh, that was the what this was turned out to be the game winner. Play ends up winning the game for us. A great throw and a great catch, and uh, how Becton kept those feet in bounds, I'll never know because he stretched all the way across the line. Some celebrities there, Bartles and James, were both on hand watching the game, and <laughs> <laughs> finally East Tennessee. Uh, Got a, a score late. Uh, they couldn't push it in. This was very late in the game, 23 to 17 after the field goal, and that is the way that things would end, although you guys did have to more or less fall on an onside kick to keep the ball late in the football game. That was a six-point lead against a decent football team, even against a poor football team. It's in the, it's in the luck-in range now, <laughs> and uh, we 